And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I am your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, and as always, it's great to have you guys here on this Football Friday. We have a lot to talk about on today's show. We got a actually double header today. We got the football podcast uh, till 12 p.m. Eastern time, and then a half hour later, I will be streaming the baseball podcast. We'll recap the World Series and talk about some other stuff as well. Um, with that so uh, yeah I'm really excited about that and uh, before we get into what we're going to talk about on the football podcast uh, I just want to remind you guys we got a little uh, graphic debut here Um, so to tip or donate and get your comments recognized and become part of the show make sure to go to the following link that is streamelements.com slash gsmc sports network dot slash tip again that really helps the show and uh, it gets your comments recognized it puts you um, you know, up on the on the stream, it's a great way to uh, interact with myself, the host. Um, so again, the following link is streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. And it's also on the ticker on the bottom of the screen there uh, of the show segment. So um, let's get right into what we are going to discuss today. So we'll start off the show. We'll recap last night's game between the Steelers and the Titans. Uh, the Steelers getting the win 20 to 16, so that gets Week Nine started off. Um, then we will preview uh, all of the games uh, for this weekend. In the second part of the show, we'll actually touch upon the Bills and the Bengals because I know I, I've touched on the Dolphins and the Chiefs game and the Eagles and the Cowboys games during the week. I haven't really talked about this game, the Bills and the Bengals, so we'll we'll talk about that in the second part of the show, and I'll give you my pick for that, and then. Um, yeah, we'll preview the rest of the games. We'll do the early window games first. That'll be in the third segment. And then in the fourth segment, uh, we'll do the late window games. So let's get right into talking about last night's game between the Steelers and the Titans. So um, I picked the under in this game, actually. And, um, you know, it. Uh, I was definitely sweating it out a little bit last night uh, because towards the end, uh, the Titans were driving and they had a chance to, to win the game. And uh, the under ended up hitting. I I, I took it at uh, 37. Um, so it, it literally just hit. And I had the Steelers' money line as well. Um, so and, and that didn't look good at, at points during the game. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, the Steelers get the win. They, imp- they improved to 5-3. Uh, the Titans, they dropped to 4-3 and three on the season. But you know what? I, I, I saw a lot of good things out of Will Levis. Um, made some good throws uh last night so if you're a titans fan you definitely got to be encouraged by what you've seen so far from him um you know and and he continues to target deandre hopkins because hopkins has had a lot of quiet i mean last night he didn't have a monster game but you know he's definitely uh targeting deandre hopkins a lot um you know he had 11 targets yesterday so um you know that just goes to show you that you know he's throwing the ball to him uh, actually, Kyle Phillips ended up being their leading receiver. He had 68 yards receiving. Derrick Henry um, had a couple of big plays in this game. He actually almost took one to the house, but the Steelers were able to tackle him right before uh, he was able to break free. Uh, he had 17 carries for 75 yards and a touchdown. Um, yeah, but, uh, you know, the Titans, they uh, they were winning, uh, you know, going into the uh, the second half. Um the Steelers, they actually opened up the game, 10 plays, 78 yards, uh, almost five minutes, uh, went right down the field, scored a touchdown, uh, Najee Harris from 10 yards out. So you're like, okay, here we go. That's Matt Canada on the sidelines. Uh, that's, a, that's a good start for the Steelers. And then on the Titans' first possession, they went down the field, 14 plays, 72 yards, kicked a field goal. That was seven minutes, almost seven and a half minutes. Uh, the Steelers, uh, they got penalized. Um uh, a lot during this drive. Um, and that's kind of what, you know, extended the drive, got the Titans in field goal range. They kicked the field goal to tie it up. Steelers and Titans both punted. Then to open up the second quarter, the Steelers punted. Then the Titans went 11 plays, 73 yards down the field, almost six and a half minutes. Um, and that was the Derrick Henry touchdown. And the Steelers, they had him, but he, uh, you know, was able to break tackles and get into the end zone. He's very hard to uh, take down. Um, and then the Steelers on their possession, 
they went 10 play 65 yards they got a they got a field goal and i was surprised like there wasn't that much time left in the first half but the titans were able to go down the field uh, will levis made a couple of nice throws to uh to kyle phillips uh, for 24 yards and 21 yards and uh nick folk was able to kick the field goal to put them ahead 13 to 10 at the half then the titans punted Steelers kicked a field goal to tie the game. They went 15 plays, 75 yards, eight minutes, eight minute drive to tie the game. Then the Titans on their next possession, they kicked a field goal. That was almost five and a half minutes. So it was 16 13 going into the fourth quarter. Titans punted. And then the Steelers, 11 plays, 92 yards. Deontay Johnson catching his first touchdown in two years. The last time he caught a touchdown. Ben Roethlisberger was the quarterback, which, I mean, it, it's crazy that, that, that that's the case. Um, and that was from three yards out. That put the Steelers ahead. Titans turned it over on down. Steelers punted. And the Steelers, listen, the, the game was over um, when the Titans got the, actually got the ball back when the Steelers punted. And there was another penalty. So that extended the drive. The Titans were driving, and I'm thinking, oh, no. Here we go. And then Will Levis ended up throwing a pick uh, to, to Quan Alexander. And the Steelers ended up holding on and winning 20-16. to 16. And Kenny Pickett, as you see on the on the screen here, um, he didn't have a great game, 19-30, 160 yards and a touchdown. But he was money in the fourth quarter when it counted. Um, it's weird. He has – the so uh, CBS Sports posted this on their Instagram. So over the last two seasons, this is the most go-ahead passing touchdowns in the final five minutes. Last two seasons. Kenny Pickett has four. And then Josh Allen has three. I mean, for some reason in the fourth quarter, like, he just, he goes off. And, you know, he it didn't look great at certain points during the game, but Steelers were able to hold on, get the win. Deontay Johnson catching his first touchdown in two years. I think the Steelers got stuff to clean up with the penalties. But, you know, a win is a win. Also, a scary situation late in the game. Um, Will Levis threw a pass to uh, Traylon Burks down the sideline. And, um, you know, he ended up getting badly injured on the play. Uh, he got taken off on a stretcher into an ambulance. And you never like to see that. Um, I think it was a, a shoulder injury. Because um, he really slammed against the ground. Uh, he actually almost caught the, the pass, too. Um, but uh, that was a scary situation. And you, ne you never like to see that when you have the, um, you know, the, the ambulance on the field. Um, but, you know, he, uh, he gave the thumbs up. So, you know, that's always a good sign. But yeah, hitting his head and his shoulder, too. I mean, it was just, it was a, it was brutal to, to see that. Um, you know, you never want to see that, but, um, you know, like I said, he did give the thumbs up, so at least we have that, but um, that was a scary situation uh, for the Titans, a young receiver, that second-year wide receiver, um, so, but, yeah, so um, that was the other thing that happened in the game, forgot to mention that, but, um, yeah, so the uh, the Steelers pick up the win, they move to uh, five and three, and the Titans. I mean, again, you got to like what you see. You see out of Will Levis. Um, obviously, his offensive line wasn't doing him some favors last night. Steelers got to clean up the penalties because uh, they extended drives for the Titans, and that could have been the reason they lost last night. They could have very easily lost, um, but that was not the case. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, the Steelers, look, it, it, the offense still uh, needs some work. And you also had George Pickens, who you thought caught a touchdown, but his uh, his second foot going down uh, touched the out-of-bounds. Um, was It was out-of-bounds when he caught it. So that, that costed the Steelers some points there. But, um, I mean, the game kind of went as I, I expected. It was a low-scoring game. Um, but, again, I was impressed with some of the throws that Will Levis made. And I think going forward, I mean, yeah, he threw the pick at the end, but, you know, they didn't have a lot of time, so obviously he was trying to get something. But, 
you know, there were a lot of good throws that he made. You know, the, the ones to, to Phillips along the sidelines. Um, he's got a big arm. And, uh, you know, I think you got to roll with him going forward. Um, because you know what you got out of Tannehill, and, and this guy is going to be your future. So, you know, give him a, give him a shot and, uh, you know, see what you got out of him for the second half of the year. And so far, you got to like what you've seen. I mean, he's already won a game. Obviously, last night you're going up against a good defense in Pittsburgh, um, but you know you gotta like you gotta like what you've seen. You gotta like what you've seen out of him so far. Kenny Pickett, uh, there's definitely some concern there because uh, you know he, until the fourth quarter, he really didn't look that good. Um, so you know, but hey, the Steelers keep winning games, and as long as they do that, they're gonna be in the thick of it. Um, you know, towards the end of the season. But, um, yeah, so, that, I mean, that got us started off with Week 9. Um, you know, actually, well, I'll look at the steel, other stats besides Kenny Pickett and Will Levis. Uh, I did go over the Titans side. So, let's see. For the Steelers, I mean, George Pickens really didn't do anything last night. I, I mean, he did. He, he thought he caught the touchdown, but he ended up being out of bounds. Um, Jalen Warren... Had a very good game. His best game as a pro. 11 carries, 88 yards. Najee Harris had 69 yards rushing and a touchdown. So, you know, and Jalen Warren, he, he's, I feel like he's more, he's definitely more explo a more explosive runner than Najee Harris is. I mean, because Najee Harris, you kind of see him running east to west, and he's not running north and south sometimes. Um, Jalen Warren is, is a, a bowling ball. Um, and, I mean, he, they got a nice player with him. And he had that big run towards the end of the game that set up the, the go-ahead touchdown to Deontay Johnson. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the Steelers, uh, you know, hopefully the running game can continue to improve there. Obviously, you expect more out of Najee Harris. So he had a 25-yard run last night. Um, and then Deontay Johnson was their leading receiver. He had 90 yards receiving and a touchdown. Again, I just find it crazy how, like, that was his first touchdown in two years. Uh, you know, but yeah, that's, it's over now. It's over now. Um, but you, listen for the Steelers, you, you take the win, but obviously the offense still doesn't look great. Uh, next week they actually play the Packers. So that's a winnable game, but then they're at Cleveland and then at Cincinnati the following two weeks. So they got some big divisional games coming up. And if they really want to be taken seriously in this division, they're going to have to win those games. Um, Obviously, they're 2-0 and already this year, um, you know, facing their NFC North opponents. Or NFC, AFC, sorry, AFC North opponents. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. They're going to be on the road for those two games. They're at home against the Packers next week uh, before that. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. And then as for the Titans, uh, they will be at Tampa Bay next week. And then in a couple weeks, they'll be uh, at Jacksonville. So, um, yeah, but I, uh, I definitely, um, was impressed with what I saw from Will Levis last night. And, uh, you know, it helps when you got Derrick Henry, DeAndre Hopkins on your team. So, you know, uh, the Titans just got to keep building off of that. Uh, obviously, I, I mean, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but, you know, they could, uh, th they definitely could hang around 500, uh, the rest of the way, I think. So, um, we'll see what happens. But with that. Uh, we are going to take our first break of the show, and then when we come back, we will discuss uh, the Bills-Bengals game. We'll preview that, and that will be the second part of the show when we come back from our first break. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 